Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is a custom Tableau workshop. And in today's workshop, I'm going to demonstrate some advanced mapping techniques. So this example that I'm going to show you is how do you have both the fill and circle chart? One in this case showing the fill map, showing the the revenue the, the sales per state while the the circles are showing the profitability uh, by state. So let's get started. So I've already showed you what the end view looks like and now I'm going to clear it. It's very easy, very straightforward, and you can apply this on multiple well, using a number of different variables. So what we're going to do here is I am using the training data and I'll provide a link in the description below. And hopefully I will also provide an annotation link back to the training uh, training lessons because I feel it's really important to, to learn the foundation before you get too far into the advanced stuff. So pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just going to double click state and we are going to do the fill map and we are going to drag sales to uh, color. Pretty straightforward. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drag latitude to the same row as latitude. And then what you'll see here, you'll have two maps. And what we're going to do here, this is the secret. We're going to click dual axis. Now there's two axes on top of each other. We are going to go to the, the second latitude, change that to a circle diagram. And then we are going to move profit to color. We're going to increase the size. And we are going to just put a quick border around it. And what it, uh, the default one will be um, uh, will be this green uh, red to green diverging. I actually changed it to red to blue. That way there's not green on top of green. And then what you'll see here well, is uh, pretty evident. Like even though there's a decent amount of sales in Montana, it actually has a uh, negative. So we're going to do some quick mapping. Uh, Add some quick mapping options here. Oh. There you go. Perfect. So that's essentially how you do some advanced mapping. And you can apply that to a number of different techniques. You don't necessarily have to use circles. You could use shapes and put the flags if you wanted, uh, however you wanted to uh, approach it. But that's it, taking advantage of the dual axis charts. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I will also include the link to the, to the data so you can try this out on your own. Thank you and look forward to speaking to you next time.